No, 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 Black don't, Black don't fucking look at me like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Screenshots, the drinking game movie podcast. Today, our co-host is no longer here with us. Um, He's we'll dead, have, I we'll, killed we'll him. We'll have an in-memoriam for him, but that's okay. <laughs> and my name is Mark Trebino, this is Amanda Kenberg, and we got Kevin over here, new to the show. Guys, The Terrifier 2, this movie is quite crazy. It's got a 94 mm. on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty astounding. Um, that's the audience score. The Tomato Meter also has a 90 which is also astounding because this is a very niche horror movie. Um, but that's pretty cool what it's about because Johnny's not here to do it, so I'm going to do it for you guys. <laughs> After being resurrected by a sinister entity, the Art, Art the Clown returns to uh, the timid town of Miles County where he targets a teenage girl and her younger brother on Halloween night. So it is a slasher movie. It's making a lot of money for what it uh, is. You guys want to take a guess at how much it's making? I already know, so I can't guess. I will go with uh, just under two million. So its domestic is one million two hundred twenty-eight thousand nine hundred, and worldwide it's um, the same because it doesn't do international. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but guys, what did you think, Amanda? Me? Yeah, what'd you think? No, the other Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I, it was everything I wanted it to be, which is surprising because I hate everything lately <laughs> when it comes to horror. Mm. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, like, I have gripes and, like, my things that I would change, but that's with any movie. I feel like there's no perfect movie, especially when it comes to horror. But I was pleasantly surprised, and it was fucking amazing. Yeah, what about you, Kevin? Uh, I would definitely say it, it quenched my bloodlust. It definitely gave me what I was looking for in in the the sequel to Terrifier One. Um, I again, I, you know, I have my gripes with it a little bit, but the the brutality was fantastic. Yeah, it was. Um, so horror for me is a little weird because I, I was telling you, be, like, right when we left the theater, that if I were to rate horror movies on like what genres I like the best out of horror, slasher would actually be the bottom for me. Yeah. And now I didn't see the Terrifier one. Like I didn't see the first one. Was it a, like the same thing essentially? Uh yeah, yeah. Basically, basically it was it was just, you know, art doing what art does and just <laughs> murdering people and it was Ding awesome. Em. Yeah. Dang them. Oh, oh no, murdering. What'd you get? Murdering. All right, oh, good one. Uh, I got to There you go. Go I for got, it. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. I got a new shot. <laughs> well, so when I, cause I didn't know what to expect watching this guy. I didn't see the first one, and, and ever since I started uh, dating Amanda, she showed me a lot more horror movies. And I've seen a lot of the slashers. I've, you know, I've seen you know Halloween. I've seen you know the Freddy movies, the Jason movies. Yeah. Um. So I, I thought I knew what I, what to expect. Yeah. And this is totally different. I, I also know Amanda. You were saying. And by the way, this is spoiler free. Uh, if, in case you don't know, for like at least the first ten minutes, um, Amanda was telling me how everyone was, like, freaked out by this movie. Not because it's, like, super scary, but the gore is, yeah. <laughs> is, is intense. Yeah, I was reading, uh, you know, like, tweets and stuff that David Leone was uh, sharing because he's the director, and he was sharing all the tweets about it, and people are like, oh, my God, people are leaving the theater. They're puking. Like, <laughs> don't go if you have a weak stomach because the visceral, like, shit, like, it's just, like, crazy. And it's something that I thought was... I was pretty surprised it was in theaters. Yeah, I was just going <laughs> to throw that out there. The fact that that level of gore was in a mainstream theater. Yeah. I mean, growing up as a kid, just seeing blood on TV was something, you know? And mm -hmm. then we go to a movie theater and we... Uh, spoiler free, I can't say anything. You can't say anything. But, also... But, Shit. Oh. You're fucked. Also, that was a fir the first shot is a full shot. I don't know if you took the full shot. Oh, yeah, yeah you did. No, okay, no, now, now this is a half shot. Oh, okay. What was the word? Blood. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, come on. It was. <laughs> I had to. It was easy. Nobody said any of mine yet, and it sucks because I'm just. I they're all perfect, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, you cocksuckers!" <laughs> <laughs> what if I just dinged you for cocksuckers? That was so <laughs> fucking funny. I'll do two more shots. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So I, I, I've. The first one wasn't in theaters, right? Because this is super independent. Uh, yeah, it no, came. it wasn't. It was on Net. Sh was no. it Netflix or Shutter? I think it was Netflix. Yeah, it was one of it was one of the. It just went right to streaming, and uh, it 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 was a, one of those one of those movies that came out of left field, right to streaming. Yeah, round, yeah. Watched it. it so you awesome. guys must be surprised that it came out in theaters. I, oh, you were just yeah. saying when I uh, saw the trailer for it, I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be on Shutter," and I was like, "It's in the fucking theater." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, when I when I heard that it was getting released, I was absolutely shocked. Um, and there was a movie that came out a while back that sparked a couple sequels, 
uh, called the Hatchet franchise. Oh yeah, you and, and they were they were kind of along the same lines of brutality with the kills and the blood, and they were only in theaters for like one night. And then Lowe's, all of Lowe's at, like, out of nowhere, we're like, holy shit, what did we get ourselves into? So yeah. watching Terrifier 2 and seeing what we saw, and f- especially me feeling the way I did, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Um, I'm surprised they didn't pull it out after opening night. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Do you, th- do you think theaters still do anything, like, pull it out? Oh, yeah. I, I Maybe not so much anymore. I mean, you're not going to show a Serbian film, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, what's that? Yeah, you don't uh, want to know. Yeah, let, what is uh, that? It's a... <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's no nice way to say it. Okay. Uh, it's... There is, like... <laughs> As he finds a nice way to say it. <laughs> there's there's not a nice way to say it. There Should is, I just look it up? It, yeah. yeah, I don't even want to say it because it's that... It's bad. Right. I'll Dude. debate whether or not to share it with you guys. And put it I on saw screen. it years ago, and <laughs> I was like, "Oh, don't just if you <laughs> if, if anybody listening or watching this, just believe what I said." <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to look into Serbian film for themselves, by all means, that's your decision. But it there's some heavy, yeah, heavy. It's fake, but I mean, it's the content is like unnecessary. Yeah. It it's sounds, like, it sounds oh like a know, fucked up word. Sorry, I yeah. know this is like a side thing, but like, did you know that I spit on your grave is illegal in Australia? <laughs> N- I'm not I'm not sure. I mean, it's illegal in a lot of places, but it's illegal in Australia because we have a friend in Australia, Gorak, oh, and he yeah. told me he can't watch is, it. Is Last That's House funny. on the left ban in Australia? Maybe, I don't know. Because I feel like Last, Last House, House on the left is weird. Dude. It's, it's, it's way more, weird. to me, to me, Last House is that's like it's the, worse. one of the most. Can I tell you why that's fucking weird? I know there's a Terrifier podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going, we're going off, and we'll get back to it. Tangents. We'll get back to it. But the last yeah. time I left, the reason why that's so fucking weird because I watched it, not know. I was I you. I didn't even know you yet. Yeah. I was just sitting in my bedroom. and was like, okay, this is a movie where <laughs> nothing's happening, and I just watched it, and I was like, Holy oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. But the reason why I think it's weird is because for the first like thirty minutes, they um they they sexualize the characters. Mm-hmm. Yep. And me not knowing it was a horror movie, and then all of a sudden that thing happens. Yeah. I don't to, I'm like, why did you just spend 30 minutes trying to make me like attracted to these people, and then this happens? This is horrible. I am. I feel this, dirty, and I need to take a shower. Yeah, because I didn't know what I was getting into. Oh yeah. But um, let's go back to the terrifier though. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so I don't know what the what the what, how much do you think they spent on this movie? Uh oh, for a budget to make it. Yeah. I would say. Five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand. What about you, Amanda? I'd say yeah, probably about the same four or five. Do you think they they push it to the limit, or do you think they could have done better? Oh, I think they pushed it to the limit. Yeah. yeah, I think I think they went full scope for it, and they they definitely most certainly achieved that. I yeah. mean, the movie looked like a bigger budgeted yeah. horror film. So I mean, like like I was saying to Kevin when when you were in the bathroom at the theater. Saying that this guy, the director, must be so happy with himself because it's oh, yeah. in theaters. the The budget, I, I hope, didn't break the bank. And after um, doing that interview with uh, John, um, Jonathan Shalemi, the guy, the director we interviewed, talking about the budget it takes to make a movie and how much you uh, you get in return, the yep. uh, the mm-hmm. profit. Yep. Um, this guy who made the Terrifier too, he must be out of this world right now. Oh, dude, yeah. he is one hundred percent a. He's he's he's. I'm him. He's me. Mm-hmm. An avid, ridiculous horror fan that's been watching it since he was like three years old, and he always wanted to get into horror and make a horror film, and he did it with Terrifier, and it was a little indie movie that, like you know, went right to streaming, and then it made a huge deal amongst hardcore horror fans, and we love art and we want more art, so yeah. we got you Terrifier say that too. it's like okay, you talking about like. The discipline or the character? <laughs> the character. <laughs> yeah, no, we, I... We want the character. Yeah, yeah, like, art's phenomenal, and it's, like, one of those characters that, like, yeah. is different, you know? Yeah. And he's just, like, he's not just a clown. Yeah, there's you know? there's more substance there's to more him. There's more substance to him. Which is nice. And you wonder about him, because there's not much to him at, like, at the face of it. But yeah, I don't, don't want to give away too much right now. But. You don't get... Um, I don't want to because you can't spoil anything. Yeah, yet. we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. I just can't I'll, say I'll, it. I'll, I'll save it. No, so I want to I want to talk about whether or not like so we talked about a lot of the um a little bit of the small details, but like playing out like did you did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I watch we'll, it again. Yeah. You guys want to you guys want to go to ratings? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Um, 
so right off the bat, uh, like I said, uh, slashers aren't my thing. Horror movies also aren't my thing. However, I know a good movie when I see one, right? Yeah. But um, Terrifier 2, and I know I'm going to make a lot of horror fans angry. <laughs> I know I am. Guys, look, I'm not He's a horror. Like, oh, it's a 4.5. I'm, 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 still I'm, love you. I'm not a horror person, okay? <laughs> get, get what I'm trying to say, okay? Yeah. Um, I walked in there not knowing what I was going to uh, get because I didn't see the first one. Um, I ha- I know when you recommend me a movie, Amanda, you you say it's going to be this way. or you- I know when you say you like it, I'm going to be like, what does that mean? Because <laughs> I have no idea what you even like. And so I watched this and, um, okay, watching, I'm like, I get it. I get the kind of people that, that are into this and I get why they're into, into this. I understand the comedy aspect that you're talking about where it's not comedy because they, they're writing jokes. It's comedy right. because it's, it's kind of... Uh, fantastical and kind of ridiculous yeah, and they're yes. not waiting they're not waiting for the haha like yeah. they're not waiting for somebody to laugh yeah like it's just like it just goes right for the throat it's great but yeah with humor <laughs> yeah so so i don't i don't really i gotta say i'm not i'm not a fan i'm not a fan it's all good man. but it's not because i don't think they did a good job yeah. i just don't think i like the genre right yeah. Um, Which I, is expected. I mean, the ratio here at the table, you know, yeah, like, I yeah. mean, it'd be a little weird if everybody loved it. I also yeah. I also think that um, the people who wrote this di- and directed it, they said, we want to make something that's legit just going to be fun. We, we want to have a good yep. time yep. and we want to be excited on set and we want to be excited every time we come up with a new idea. Oh, that guy in the corner that we've never talked to before, he has an idea, let's put it in the movie. <laughs> like, I think yeah. that's what they were going for because yeah. when I was watching this, I didn't really feel like I was following a story. I was just going from scene to scene watching right. things ha- happen, unfold. And now towards the end... There was a story, yeah. but I feel like it was it was it was a little forced at the end just to make up for something. Yeah. But the people that watch this movie, they love it. Yeah. So with all, with all that being said, I am I am only going to give it a five. That's fine. okay. That's but wait, but wait a second. Wait a second. That's um. Fair. Oh fuck, Johnny's not here. We got to come up with a rating system. Um. What would the rating system? Well, we be? should do we should do skulls because it's a horror film and okay. it's a graphic one. So. Johnny's going to say rookie move, but I'll accept it. Or well, I'll he'll be it. like, how many buckets of blood out of like the gallons? Do you got to do fucking math? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't do numbers that well. <laughs> oh, how many half tabs of ecstasy? <laughs> do that. No, I, it was Molly, not ecstasy. It's the same thing. Molly and ecstasy is the same it's thing, the right? It's the same thing. Yeah. Are they? Right? I think. I don't, I don't know. think so. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah, do yeah, drugs, clearly. Drugs, well, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I, I give it, if it's a half tab, then I would give it 10 half tabs of ecstasy. Oh, wow. Okay. Because they 20 five? would be, you know? Okay. So I give it a, a, a five. What about you? What about, uh, go ahead, Kevin. Pick There's it up. still math involved, and I yeah, don't appreciate I, I'm this. Going, I'm going back to the skulls one because that sounded like way too <laughs> no. much math. Fuck you. So I'll say, I'll say, listen, so five is the maximum amount of skulls you can give a movie. No, ten. No, ten. Oh, you're going He's going, going mid. Oh, yeah. okay, so we'll do ten skulls. Um, for me, I would probably give it a seven and a half skulls. Okay. okay. Wait, what's your, what's your overall thoughts, though? Uh, it was everything I wanted and needed from Terrifier 2. It was a great time. It was a party, but it was a little too long in the tooth for me. Mm, okay. I am a slasher movie fan. I don't want to think. I don't want character development. I want pure chaos and bloodshed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. slasher. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. There we go. This is oh, what, no. my third shot already? I don't know. The, the, the screen will keep tabs on you. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead. Bing. Go ahead, Amanda. What what's your overall thoughts and your rating? Um, my overall, I thought I was gonna be not disappointed, but I thought that there was gonna be something missing in this for me, so I would have rated it less. But I'm so elated with this movie. Like this is what I've been waiting for for like I feel like years. Um, because horror movie after horror movie this year, I don't like. And this is just one of those movies where I was like, I know I'm going to like this because I saw the first one. And if it's anything like the first one, it'll be great. And it was better, in my opinion, which is very hard to do. <laughs> and I would totally give this a nine. nine Whoa. Out of 10. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait I a second. Totally On your Instagram, nine. you gave it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I know I did. I just thought You're about retracting that. You're retracting a liar. <laughs> yep. Liar. So, and the only reason why I say nine out of 10 is now that I'm thinking about it, because that was directly after the movie. Yeah. I would give it a nine out of 10, barely. Because there are two things that I have a problem with, but that's it. You want to get to that in spoilers? Yeah. All right, guys. Spoiler. Wait, wait. Oh, fuck. What? How do, okay, you gave it a what? A, seven, a nine. nine you gave ten. it a seven and a half. 7.5. And yeah. I, oh, John's going to make so much fun of me. And I got a, a five. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? That's the <laughs> hardest one. How do you average that's that That's the out? hardest one we've ever had to do. Yeah, average see? it out. You're welcome. That's because I'm here Fucking. Now. <laughs> I threw Bro. a curveball at you. You didn't think I was going to rate it 7. that low. Seven point. Two or one. 
Okay. Screenshot score. Sure. There it is. Guys, <laughs> spoilers in three, two, one. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Okay, so what was your favorite kill? The favorite? There's a lot of them. How many, how many people did he kill in this movie? Oh, that's a good question because, again, I don't remember. I, I, it, you I don't know, know what's funny? I feel like after we watched it, because of each kill being so so brutal and gory and graphic and violent that he murdered like a hundred people, but he only murdered probably like six, six, six or, or seven, seven people. Yeah. And I it, mean, right off the bat in the movie, there was yeah. a kill. So I mean, yeah, I it guess was it's, fucking awesome. It yeah. does kind of like pull you in, like it absorbs you because you're right. It does feel like he killed a shit ton yeah. of people. What it was was the kills were elongated. They weren't just like oh, he, yeah. he stabbed somebody and they were dead and they walked away and it was over. It was he would slash them. The blood would go everywhere. They were still breathing. He would laugh. He would point. He would drag them through all kinds of shit and you would stab them more. You and- know what I think it was? You know, I, the kills might have been long. Yeah. But there was no wait for the kill, like all the other horror movies. Yeah, yeah there was no build towards it. It just was just happened. like, you're dying. It's <laughs> a, you, saw, you saw the meat coming towards the grinder yeah. instantly, and you're like, oh, you're fucking dead. Like, there was a point. It was when um, the, the little brother was in the room looking at his, uh, his um, mother, his dead mother. <laughs> and I was like... For the first time in horror movies, I was never like, oh, they're going to escape. No, I was like, oh, he's dying. <laughs> okay. But, which is funny, though, because he's the only kid that didn't die immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I, that usually doesn't happen because I, I understood, about 15 minutes in, I understood the movie. I was like, oh, no, he's just, this is just a movie where we're on the side of Art the Clown. We're yeah. not rooting for anyone else. 100%. Right. right. The, yeah. The people that we're seeing get developed character wise, they're just meat. Yeah, you were like, cheering. Yeah, I would, dude. I said ding. The, oh, the, for who? He said character. He okay. said character. Oh shit, <laughs> that's funny because I actually said that already. I, I fucking know. Picked like the worst words, and like I figured somebody would have said at least one of them by now, but I just keep. Holy shit! So this is shot number four. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And oh, we're you're just, a we're just, maniac. We're just getting up. Oh, sorry. I sorry. hope you're like sleeping on couches. Jeez. <laughs> Do you have a? Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Just keep talking. Okay. Talk about your favorite kill. Um, I would say it was. I don't know. I mean, a lot of them were great. Thank you. Um, but it would have to be that girl in her bedroom when he <laughs> just went up oh, her yeah. fucking uh-huh. face and her eyeball. Like, that's something that I've never... I don't think I've ever seen a kill like that before. <laughs> that was, like, I feel like the most brutal one. 100. Um, well, I, I, oh, because I didn't, I didn't get to see the penis rip. T- yeah. <laughs> I'm mad I missed the penis rip because yeah, I had to get up and use the bathroom. That, that was really good. <laughs> Goddamn length. That was really good. The movie did not need to be as long as it was. Yeah, no, it, it was didn't. super long. Yeah. And really I felt long. it too. I, at one point, it was right? like 5 30. Like, see, come on. It's funny because a lot of people said they didn't feel it, which I can see why if you don't watch a lot of this yeah. type of movie, it could go quick because you're like, what the fuck is happening? I don't know. I think because we're all like, like kind of involved in the behind the scenes of like we all have like some kind of experience with a little bit of yeah. filmmaking yeah. that we're like, Jesus Christ, just, just fucking. Tie it up, dude. That's yeah. cause, that's because I was like, I would have been fine with two hours. I would have been fine with one hour and thirty minutes. Well, yeah, that's fine too. But I'm saying, like, if you had to cut it like minimally, two hours fine. But two twenty nine. We uh, there was, in my opinion, there was a lot of fodder B roll scenes that it was like, you know, we're seeing trick or treaters or we're seeing. Yeah. You know, people dancing around a bar and wearing slutty costumes. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking care about that. See, but that's the whole the whole like story. That's quality. the horror like genre in itself, like it slutty is. characters and shit. Well, like no, that. no, no. I'm with the slutty characters. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. I am. I am 100 percent all about that part. But it's it's mainly like when you when you have a shot where it's just a crowd of people. Yeah, it's And there it's not adding to the story. It's just yeah. showing an environment. It's like did we need okay, that yes. fucking shot? Yeah, because what happened was like I said, the the movie's very uh heavy towards the back, right? Yeah. Because it's like, yeah. oh fuck, we, uh, we forgot to make a story. People <laughs> people would keep accident like uh, okay, we can talk about spoilers. The main character, the survivor girl, dies like what four fucking times, yeah. and she comes back. She's worse than Jason. Yeah, yeah. it's annoying. It's like, bro, like, or, uh, I mean, like you stabbed the terrifier in the head though, and he's <laughs> and he, he's but fine. he's how but many, he's immortal. How many times have did they fake kill Art through this movie, and he came back? It's like, dude, we all know the scream rules. Like, yeah, he's gonna come back for one good jump. Like he's he's not dead. You need to literally either bludgeon his fucking head in or cut his head off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they didn't they. 
Well, they you did know. one. They did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They cut his head off. It took. It and took, then that woman had it as a baby. That yeah. Was so weird. <laughs> oh, the the vaginal blood on the wall. <laughs> oh, wait. that got me. That but, was great. But no, so yeah, they so. They had essentially no story to the movie yeah. until like 30 minutes in at, at the, the soonest. And at the end when they started doing the party scenes and when they started doing um, more about, but you had this notebook of my father the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. It's like, you already lost it. Yep. Don't even make a yep. story Who anymore. Who fucking just cares no, about like, a notebook at, at this point? point. At yeah. that point. Yeah. And right? I would have been totally fine if they just kept it the way it was going and yeah. that like these kids were going to a party, they were going to get fucked up and then yep. this was what happened that when they left. That girl clearly has mental trauma. And she took a Xanax before she left the house. Yeah. And her friend's a piece of shit that gave her oh, a, yeah. a fucking Molly on top of the Xanax with alcohol. Yeah. I which, was like, bro, way, I'm like, that's did, a shitty friend. How did she not die? Which, yeah. when she said that in the car, when she was like, I could have died. I would have been like, well, no, you. You're Should you're you're fucking dead. Yeah. Like, yeah. like a normal person would have died after yeah. that. But point, I also but. knew what, what the movie was going to be like as soon as the. Okay, so granted, yeah, it's it's a five hundred a thousand dollar bu- budget. Um, it's it's a slasher. Yeah. Uh, even though well, we're not sure it's five hundred thousand dollars, we're just oh, we're, we're at, guessing. We're, we're yeah, we're, we're guessing. All, we're all going with that. Yeah, let's just say it. It's just yeah. let's just say it is. And right? the movie looked beautiful. Yeah. Well, so I was gonna. I, was I gonna, loved how it looked. Yeah. I was gonna comment on how I'm. I'm a fucking stickler, man. Cause, <laughs> cause when, when I my I love it, my grandmother used to babysit me and my sisters, and she'd watch soap operas. So I, I so like I can't watch soap operas, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't you called me it. out for mine because because I'll watch um, a movie, and if they have a certain kind of camera movement, I'm like, oh, because oh, oh, it looks like soap. Opera. Now this movie didn't look like a soap opera, but the first scene. Yeah. With the mother and the daughter, I was like, "That's a soap okay, opera scene." Yeah, get it? Yeah. I get it, motherfucker. <laughs> because also, it's like, like, okay, I'm no fucking, you know, I'm not rich. I'm not making movies like every fucking year, and they're breaking, you know, they're blockbusters, right? Yeah. But the the quality does take me out of it. But I don't. I think it's unfair for me to say that because I'm so used to seeing these fucking Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're it's desensitized. Unf- it's unfair of me to, to discount a movie where a lot of people worked very hard on just because it didn't have the camera I'm used to. That's yeah. not fair yeah. of me. Yeah, you're going with, like, at that point, it's, again, because, you know, we we all have backgrounds in cameras and making shit where you're like, that's an Ari camera or yeah. that's a red camera and yeah it, it like you kind of tell the yeah. codec doesn't look right like yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, I can do that shit too. here i am I'm, i know fucking nothing about cameras and <laughs> i could give a shit less to be honest if it's right. on a cell phone or whatever but my thing that i do tend to notice is practical effects yes and because oh. damn it fuck you <laughs> you what do you mean i didn't do anything to you practical. yet <laughs> yeah, you, you made me see this listen, movie is what you did <laughs> if anybody should be swearing at anybody right now it's me yeah. against you guys because yeah. i've did right, like can you ow, can you give me the golden slugger yeah i got, to you. Grab it. I got you go on go on about the effects though but the because mark and i watched a movie last night mm-hmm. wait it was a show right yeah, it was the, the new Disney Plus show, uh, the wo- Werewolf at Night. Werewolf, yeah. So I, oh, I didn't know about that. So yeah, it came out yesterday, actually. Ooh. I like the sounds of that so already. So I hated how that guy looked. Okay. Just okay, he actually so reminds me. <laughs> maybe not the monster, but the, the, the actor reminded me of your dad, actually. Yeah, I thought that too. Whoa, really? But, okay. Yeah, but no, I fucking hated how he looked. Whatever they did to his face, like, digitally sucked. Mm. And they should be ashamed. Oh, uh, they did a digital werewolf. They should be ashamed. I'm spoiled rotten. <laughs> Kid of the 80s, 90s. But, my no, werewolves were practical, yeah. So when it comes to practical effects, they fucking nailed it in this. Yes. And the visceral... Ugh, it's yeah. gross, you know? Like, yep. It's fucking disgusting. And You are getting dangerously close to a buzzword right now. I'm Why so would you ready. tell me that? Don't say that. Because I, I have to. You're so it's excited. An ego, it's an ego thing. It's my so, first time doing it. With that being said, it was one of my favorite movies I've seen in a long time where practical mm. effects are, they're there in every fucking scene. Yeah. And they, you know, whether it's, you know, just a little slash on the stomach that looks real or like a literal like decapitation, like I it all it, looks so good. I think I said it before we <sighs> started, but Damien Leone, because he was the one who did a lot of the, the practical effects. And he's the director and writer of this movie. And, I mean, his... It sounds fucking like I'm a madman, but uh, his cuts, like the actual physical cuts and gashes on Mm -hmm. people, seeing a knife swipe by somebody and then watching the cut develop 
is yeah. one of yeah. the hardest things you can ever film. Yeah. And he fucking nailed it. Yeah. It was rad. Like I, I said, it. my favorite kill was that girl in the bed. Why? You said girl. God damn! <laughs> you know, that's a Johnny word. No, 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 no. Fuck no, 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 it's not, it's not, no. It's not a Johnny word because of the the little girl. That's a new character, mm. and she doesn't have her name, no. so it works. Art, art, little art girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, you still said girl. <laughs> but uh, so the girl in the bed, like she, that was like a lot. Yeah, that and was a heavy fucking scene. Oh, that, that was, was a rough. lot. Yeah, huh? Yep. And I, did anybody, you, did you hear me? Because. She yes. caught me, but no, literally, what? when it came to, okay, when it comes to bones, no, I... When he snapped her arm? I, yeah, he sna- when he yeah. snaps her arm first, I went, oh, yeah. fuck! You know, I snapped my arm in half in real life. Uh, then how did you not flinch? <laughs> well, I was in shock. Oh, that's, yes. you know, it... it did it kind of trigger? No, well, for the first, like, two or three years after I snapped my arm in half, I, I had a problem, but yeah. I, I'm over it now. Wow. Was there anything in the movie that actually made you, like, kind of So... But, yeah. so I don't get or not act- sick, but like I don't, well, huh. well, I want to comment on that though too because I don't actually get sick from things. Like nothing grosses me out. Yeah, nothing. I'm the same way. It just I I'm very empathetic to pain, so I I feel like I could feel the pain too. Yeah, and and the the scene you're 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 comment you're trying to talk have me talk about. I actually didn't bother me because it was with the needle. No, I knew that wasn't gonna bother you because it's a comically large needle, yeah. so yeah. it didn't bother yeah. me. Yeah, it was like a silly. It was a clown needle. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. no, I knew it wasn't gonna bother you as long as it didn't do anything. Um, yeah. Which you didn't see anyway, even though you yeah. covered your eyes. Yeah, but. which it's funny because instead they showed him getting whipped by chains. <laughs> and I was like, but you couldn't show a fucking needle go into yeah. his neck? Yeah, yeah. that's pretty was weird. Like, and that was that was some gnarly shit because, like, I mean, it's there's no taboo to it. It's not like a thing. But to see that level of brutality towards, like, a preteen. Yeah. Is that's that's heavy that's heavy shit. It is. And, and, a, lot of pe- like, and a lot of people are not okay with it, obviously. Yep. But even though it's fake. But it's good content yeah it, it's <laughs> you know? it's kind of going to be one of those because things that terrifier 2 kind of gets put on the map for yeah in, in because, my opinion yeah because you're not just like straying away from like the you know the uncomfortable things yeah. like oh, if it wasn't uncomfortable like, already yeah you know i feel like <laughs> nothing would really surprise you at that point they yeah. should have just called this uncomfortable part two yeah well because like oh what was I had a thought and I forgot what it was. None of you Damn motherfuckers it. have well, said any more words yet. I hate you guys. I still have to take this half shot. I'm trying um, to trick you into it. I'm trying to work in there. I'm well, so w- w- is there any movie, the horror movie CGI that you guys are like, yeah, that's good? CGI? Oh, there's plenty of movies. That- Fill it up the other the other half. Sorry, you said CGI. Oh, I almost said it right after her. <laughs> you almost <laughs> said it. I almost you almost said, said it. I was like, well, a movie with. Computer generated effects. Yeah, nice. you're a fuck for using the, yeah, the abbreviation. No, I'm for all that. done now. I got all my words. All <laughs> oh, five words oh, gone. Oh, you cross them off, so now I can say it. Yes. Wait, okay. So, hold uh, on. <laughs> I think a mo- a good movie with CGI. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but there Me has neither. there has been movies that oh, has. I remember what I was gonna say. That ha- I guess I don't know. Could you use the original Star Wars, like the first well, three Star horror Wars? movie? Oh, horror movie with CGI specifically because of course, har- like for some reason, Star Wars still hasn't consider, still aged very well. Do you consider Underworld the Underworld franchise? Uh, anything? Horror? Any? Th- yeah, I would. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, I'll say I'll say the f- specifically the first Underworld movie <laughs> had some decent CGI in it, and I respected it and dug it for it. I was like, you know the. The lichen transformations, because they were still practical to a degree, but used digital a little bit. Mm. And I think that that's how CGI should be used. It should be used hand and foot with practical. Right, things. right. Like, you don't use it just straight away. Yeah, like, you don't need to fucking put a fake sky in your movie that doesn't <laughs> need to be there. Just don't shoot the fucking sky if you're going to need yeah. a crazy sky. Yeah. So, that's what I was going to say. I was going to point out that this movie... I love how it looks, how it feels. It feels like the 80s, but it's not. Uh-huh. You know, like the music, the dreamlike music, it reminds me so much of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, there was and a I lot of dream surrealism in this I movie. I love it. Yeah. And <laughs> like, like, I don't know if he used it as an inspiration maybe or not. Oh, uh, definitely. But definitely. I love like Nightmare. the whole dream state thing. Yeah, the the uh, I like when, oh, what fucking part was it where I was like, wow, that was like, she was like daydreaming that. And like it, oh, it yeah, yeah. still got her. Like, yeah, you don't know. I, I don't know. Like it was like when she fell asleep, right? Yeah, she was in between like a dream state and a wake state, and her and, and her and thing was on. Yeah, like the the her wings oh, being on yes, fire. Yes, yes, yes. Like and she just had a dream that she deflected the flame and the de- <laughs> her defect deflecting oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. flame from her bed shot at her fucking wings, but 
which I don't, I don't know. I could shoot holes in that one too. There's a lot yeah. of stupid it's shit. Like, yeah, honestly. yeah, it's a fucking but slasher like, movie. Right, We're but not you look at Freddy Krueger too, and you're like, what the fuck? But like, I love that it was like whether it was an ode to it or not. Like, there was a lot of similarities with Freddy Krueger without without copying it. Yeah, and that was cool because Definitely. it gave it like this weird like, am I in a dream? Am I in real life? Kind of feel the had it had it uh it definitely had a Wes Craven y yeah. David Lynch kind of vibe, but like to the it. older ones, yeah, like the eighties, like the the Dream Master, yeah, like from Freddy Krueger. Yeah, you go to and the, the practical effects were similar. Yeah, a, a lot of it was latex and foam yeah. latex, so and good. just fantastic. It's so good. The, it? the intestines right. made me sick. Well, that's <laughs> that's another thing because, like I said, I guess we're we're getting. We're so spoiled with a lot of the movies now that when we see a movie like this, we're kind of like, oh, it's like basement yeah. quality, you know? Yeah, see, I'm the opposite. But I thought this was amazing, topping everything from, like, Alien to whatever, because anybody can make something on a computer. Mm. Yeah. But, like, it's really, really fucking hard to execute practical effects. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that, like, I lost my thought. It was, right. the would you like, the film quality of it? No, I, I was going to say something about um how we're spoiled and how, because uh, I don't... <clears throat> You said you'd, you'd watch it a second time. Mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't, but right. for a few reasons. One reason, it's fucking long. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and if I was going to watch anything again, it wouldn't be the whole movie. It'd be each individual kill. Yes. Yeah. It wouldn't be the build up to the next one. <laughs> yeah. It's like, or, I don't care. Or yeah. like where where the main character, what she's doing at this given yeah, moment. Yeah, no, I could and give a shit less. All yeah. the conversations with her and her mom. Oh my God. I was like, just shut the fuck up and kill somebody oh, again. Oh man, the del- okay, so people weren't delivering lines in this movie. They were <laughs> acting lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? That's a but good way to put it. I, I like kind that. of liked it because, like I said, it reminded me of the 80s. Like, people were bad actors in the 80s. Like, yeah. You know I what don't I mean? know. Like, Everyone in the 80s is super attractive and good at acting. <laughs> but, well, oh, there was a, they were attractive in this. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. That's the What's other her thing? name? What's the, the main girl? Uh, I don't know. And by the way, let me tell you, this was a gripe that I put down as a mental note in my yeah. head. They did not look like fucking high school girls. No. They looked like college, mid-range, 25-year-olds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then, then they, had <laughs> the, they had a shower scene where they were so, showing, yeah. like, side boob and thigh and butt. I was like, she's supposed to be 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, were oh, having a, yeah. we were having a pretty good time in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, that, that, the, the little brother, though, they couldn't have found a person that looks so fucking small yet so fucking tall <laughs> at the same right? time. That's uh uh they, he has a YouTube channel called Little Punk People. Oh. Whoa, I'm looking that. Fucking I love thing up the right fact now. that like he, he interviews big bands. Sorry. Really? All right, yeah. I he, love. He had the Nurgle fact... from Behemoth on his shit. No shit. Yeah, he's oh. rad, dude. Okay, a little plug here. Death <laughs> Comes Lifting just had Behemoth on there. I no think? shit. Yeah. No, they had a uh, Goat Whore. Sorry. They had Goat Whore. Yeah. Dude, Sammy Dua, their guitarist, is one of my Yo, favorites. I'm gonna That's t- fucking yeah. rad. I'm gonna tag. You have to little, listen to it. I'm gonna tag okay. Little Punk People in this uh, okay. podcast. Yeah, tag, hey, Death, dude. tag Death Comes Lifting too, right, man. I'll tag yeah. Death Comes Lifting. I mean, I'm wearing their merch. Let's go. Yo, if Death Comes Lifting can just like send Sammy Dua like my love, and if he could send me his one signature series <laughs> guitar. <laughs> Uh, the SD2, I'm a big fan of I don't of know, that. Zach, can you do that? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey work, clothing Zach. company that I've never met or had words with, can you do this thing for me? <laughs> yeah, but I they, live here. But I'm they a interviewed, whore. Yeah, they interviewed Goat Whore, sorry. That's fucking bad. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, this kid looks truly awkward in real life, which is amazing. Um, and I liked that he actually portrayed like this awkward little middle school kid. Yeah. Also, you know? I want to like, like, cool throw out high how kid. fucking awesome his room was. Yeah. He had a merciful fate poster yeah, in his I bedroom, yeah, and I was yeah. like, "Yeah, he's a little punk people dude." So he likes he That's he awesome. likes everything from punk and metal on his on his YouTube. But yeah, I'm looking at it right now, dude. His fu- his fucking music taste. I guarantee you that was all his pick. He was like, "I want a merciful fate poster." So there. Wait, is this his first acting job? Yeah, this Holy is his shit. Fir- That's this awesome. is his like acting kind of like big debut. You know who he reminds me of? He also has his own music too. Really? Oh, shit. He just says my new album is now available here and Fuck. all other streaming it's platforms. Probably metal as fun, guaranteed. That's awesome. Guaranteed. Yeah, you kidding. know who Lots he reminds me of? Who? Cameron. He reminds me so? of a younger my Cameron. My stepbrother. Everyone, yeah, he reminds so you know. me of a younger Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was I saying? Um. Oh yeah, but like the whole like what we were saying about like the whole storyline. If you're here for the storyline, fuck off. <laughs> like don't. It's watch a well, that's what I went movie. in for. I thought. Are we you were- serious? Bro, I don't know what I'm getting into. I told you Mark, it's gonna be gross. On, no, 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 no. Slasher don't, film. don't fucking look at me like I know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> I, I was like, hey, Amanda was like, hey, a movie I'm super excited about. I'm, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Yes. It's called Come, the Terrifier Two. And Mark goes, oh, up. this is gonna be I'm a great talking. plot. Shut up. 
Okay, <laughs> I was walking in saying, "Okay, I wonder what the story is gonna be." I even asked Amanda. I was like, oh, "I didn't, I didn't see the first one. What's it about?" I don't even remember what and you I said. Go, I don't know. Oh man, you How should just come to, to me next time. I'll be like, "It's about a guy named Art. He's a clown and he murders." That's what about I said. Nothing. Yeah, I it's said it's gr- a slasher. It's, it's like if if a YouTuber from 2008 had a budget, that th- <laughs> they made this movie. <laughs> That's what it is. But Dude, I will say that's fucking right on. Like, Art's that's... character is amazing. Like his oh, charisma yeah. during these and he doesn't deaths. speak. No, he just moves. he's mute. Yeah. His and movements, dude. He's, he's a mime. Just, right? huh? He's a mime, so he well, doesn't. He, no, he's a clown. He's a clown. They never said he's like just silent clown or mime. He's yeah, just he's just a, mute. Art the clown. They call him Art the clown. He just decided to not make sound, I guess. Which yeah. is fucking amazing <laughs> because he's just like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His hand gestures and when he was putting on the glasses was like one of my favorite That scenes. was like, the whole Halloween. Oh, by the way, that w- I guess they live in New York City because Abracadabra is there. Yeah. And that's that oh, Halloween that's shop. That Halloween that's that story? famous Halloween shop. Well, in the credits, they said also Manalapan and Jackson, oh, New yeah. Jersey. Which um, is funny. Little, so whatever the actor's name is, Little Punk People, he said, the trailer is here. This is my first feature film. So that's it, it is awesome. His, is Good for first. him. He was fucking great, too. He for was. His first like, big movie, he yeah. killed it. He did all that he was supposed to do, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, Abracadabra is a is like the ho- uh, Halloween costume shop in the city, um, which I've you never been to. You can get angel and wings I, there. I would love oh. to go, <laughs> <laughs> but that's that one of those that scene was one of my favorites because it was just so ridiculous. Were they trying to allude that that Art the Clown was their dad? Because he was, like, going crazy. You know, uh, I thought that for a split I second, I thought that, too. too. I was like, why is there a significance between those two? And, like, yeah. the dad was yeah. drawing him but and, the, like, the murders. Maybe and... we'll know in Terrifier 3 if there's maybe. one. Yeah, if they decide to make a story. I'm sure there's three. <laughs> for, the, for the third movie. Based on the this end movie credits. Is a movie, this movie <laughs> exists just to exist. Yeah. yeah. You know? it, 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 no, it exists for gore. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. If you're, yeah. if you're like me, a sick fuck. That Which, yeah. I always forget that, like, that. Uh, audience exists. Oh, <laughs> hi. What? No, but like, okay, oh, so us. Like, yeah, because because yeah. when I see a movie, Amanda. I'm yeah. like expecting. You know what I'm expecting. A linear story. <laughs> you line. Yeah. silly. So, 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 a structure. So, when I go see a, a movie which is has hundreds and hundreds of years of things backing up from it, also <laughs> somehow you just hit the peak, uh, Mike. Uh, so you talk so loud just now, Amanda, Me? that it muted you. I don't I know laughed. how that happened. <laughs> I that, laughed. Wait, she got that and I didn't? Yeah, you did Holy it. Holy fuck. Cause probably because I have a higher range. Bro, that's I'm, funny. I'm that's shocked so, because like I don't know me, how I, the fuck that happened. When I record <laughs> vocals, I fucking low end everything and <laughs> fucking kill it. It's like if I did a death metal alone. That's, that's so funny. But, but no, so I, I, I expect that. I don't. Beginning, you, got, you guys end. know how I feel about this movie. I don't know what else. You wanted a cute little story. No, I didn't like you. Like, I want a story that made sense. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, wait. So you never answered. Was there a fi- like a scene that like no. made you like fucking weird? No. Okay. Yeah. There's me neither. nothing that made you squeamish. Me and it's no. funny because I'm seasoned. I've seen and you got the bone mm-hmm. break and and the fu- singer. What you no! got? No. No. Oh, <laughs> piece of shit. Damn I got. Piece I got one. I got one. I got one. Damn one. it. I'm crossing. I'm Congratulations, crossing Kevin. My first. I'm so mad that I'm not getting you on anything right now. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I got all my words are gone. So oh, yeah, that's awesome. Such, Fuck I feel, you. I used very suggestive words. Suggestive? Like, very descriptive. And that's always, that's like, always a bad move. Yeah, yeah I should have went with more we general lo- terms. We love having new people on the show because they make it interesting <laughs> with the words they pick. Yeah. yeah. Because oh, if you call any of the next four words that are left, I'll probably shit my pants and freak out and tap dance. That'd be so table. fucking <laughs> funny. Because I'll be like, oh my God, you fucking said it. Ah! Hell yeah. That's actually really funny because uh, we had someone come on recently for, oh, I don't know, but they were using like words that had like, five syllables i'm like what, uh, are, you, yeah, what are you bro. doing yeah yeah you're just making it <laughs> Wait, hard on yourself was it no it was danny a while ago he's just like i think i did this wrong <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah i want to dude i want to do a podcast with all you guys and danny absolutely because yeah. he's just a fucking interesting well, dan- oh no this was a different talking. danny well, but oh, the different danny, danny you're thinking about yeah. um he's never been on in this because he's, really? he's so busy man yeah he dude that that kid he's a mover and yeah. shaker i respect the shit but um that. but anyway no, nothing made me squeamish. I don't. I've never been squeamish for a movie. You know what? I, you know how I get. I remember when I was really young, um, and I was watching Saving Private Ryan for the first time with my father. Ooh. In that scene, um, and this isn't a spoiler for any of you who haven't seen a movie in thirty years or whatever. <laughs> but uh, there's it's not a spoiler because it happens in the first four minutes. There's a character that you never learn more about, and he's on the beach, 
and his guts are out of his body. He's holding his body in his hands, and he's and he's calling out for his mother. And I wasn't grossed out. I wasn't scared, but I I felt empathy yeah. and sympathy. I was like, yeah. holy fucking shit. Also, do, it doesn't help that that actually happened. Yeah. yeah. And so when I watch movies like The Terrifier or Halloween or whatever, I don't think about what's scary. I don't think about what's gory. I think about what... How how is my mother going to find me when I'm dead? That's well, what you know I think what I th- about. Yeah, but you know what I think That's about during heavy. movies yeah. like this? That this could literally happen on Halloween and nobody would fucking know. I'm sure we'd know eventually. No. <laughs> Something. Are you kidding me? I feel like there would be a Netflix series based yeah. off that. I mean, you know how many years. times I drive past people's homes and I'm like, somebody's property in their fucking basement right now. <laughs> well, things have, well, so, you know, people, that's been a really, like ever that, since the Dahmer TV show came out, that's a big question on the internet. People, yeah. people asking, why aren't there more serial killers anymore? And, and you know, it's, no one really knows why. Um, we haven't discovered and, it yet. Well, you can say that, right? And of course, that's always obviously an option. But people are saying, "Oh, well, you know, there's more uh, like surveillance, like the ring like cameras. There's better stuff, mental yeah. health. Yeah, um, they can. Whenever people uh, show symptoms of being fucked up, yeah. they usually get institutionalized a lot quicker than no. they used to. I yeah, assure people you, now. Yeah. yeah, but I assure you that there are people out there that nobody suspect. Well, you know what they also said, which is really fucking creepy. They said that, um, and this is all speculation, but they say people who show signs of like being a serial killer, they say that um, they are usually find themselves in careers that scratch that itch. Like what? Like, like butchers? Like and butchers, yeah. or even like stuff like uh, CIA kind of like, or yeah. military. Like oh, wow. I think that's stupid, yeah, though. I think, so I think that's really, cra- I, I'm not the one that said that. I think it's kind of crass to say that uh, people that join the military are fucking serial <laughs> killers. But that's a bit much. Yeah, nowadays, actually, because uh, I was, uh, I was going to go enlist into the Navy. Should I be worried? No, no, no. <laughs> so I uh, I have a tattoo of Jason Voorhees on my left arm. And uh, I go in. I, I fill out all my paperwork. I rank high on one of the tests. They're like, oh, you know. I told them, I was like, I want to be a Navy SEAL. So automatically, right off the bat, they looked at me like I was fucking nuts. Because <laughs> Navy SEALs, are they're bad motherfuckers. And yeah. they're normally batshit crazy. And they saw my tattoo hanging out of the bottom of my shirt. And he was like, hey, pull your sleeve up. And I was like, okay. And I did. And he took a picture of it. He goes, you might be disqualified from serving. And I went, what? I was like, I want to go kill bad guys, dude. Like, why can't can't I do that? He goes, that tattoo shows mental instability. Oh, come on. We're not not going to... We're not going to take you. Well, I, okay, I, I, listen, when you're talking about, well, they pe- definitely don't fucking want me. When you're talking <laughs> about people that need to be as qualified as astronauts, you kind of want the cream of the crop. Well, yeah. So. Yeah, but yeah. getting a piece of art on your body doesn't really disqualify well, but, but, you. But, but, but think about it like that, though, right? You're saying it's not that big of a deal. That's how narrow you need to be, right? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's like, okay, you have, you have a, a line of script about how your mother died of cancer when you were 10. Mm-hmm. Are you still upset about that? Do you still think about that at night? Maybe yeah. we shouldn't have you on the front lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so that. it's like maybe that'll keep you from either doing something or not doing something. Exactly. Yeah, I get you know, that. in the line of shit happening. Oh, yeah. for instance, when my friend joined the Marines, uh-huh. he has a, a burn mark on his a- a- arm, not from anything like bad. It was actually me who did it, but <laughs> but it wasn't like his parent like burned his arm or anything. Um, and the mil- the guys were like, "What's that?" And they were like, and he was like, fuck, 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 fuck. But like, they'll look at everything. But yeah. I thought, yeah, I think it's also kind of fucked up control. personally that they're only okay with USMC tattoos. Just saying. Well, they they did tell me that if I would have got Jason tattooed after I served, they wouldn't have cared. Well, of course not, because it's not their problem. Yeah, they're though. like, they're like, listen, if you would have got that while you were, while you, like after basic training, you would have been fine. That's listen, so any, stupid. Anything you say though about it, like I definitely can make a, a logical argument on why yeah. they. Oh yeah, are I get it. A sound decision. I get it one hundred percent. I I have a. Thing back to the movie. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's get, yeah, let's get um, back to Terrifier. <laughs> back to the movie. So maybe I could ding one of you motherfuckers <laughs> one more time before I want to ding ends. this one so bad. Um, anyway. Uh, God, I don't want to get drunk tonight. Wait, you're, tipping, we, you're tipping the glass I've with got, me. I've got to edit it as soon as we're done. <laughs> how do we feel about the whole end of the movie? Because, like, as soon as she was, like, summoned by her brother, which was the girl, I kind of lost interest. I lost interest about... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But the, the ending, whole movie, the ending. Oh man, I don't know because I was like, "You're just—they're trying to add so many story elements that could yeah. have been there 45 minutes ago." Yeah, they were grabbing at straws, and like, like you said, like it was kind of like he didn't have an ending really picked out yet. Yeah, and he just tried, like he just threw 
blood all over the walls to see yeah. what stuck. I think yeah. he was trying to stay within like the dream state and everything, but and I don't know. Like I'm not a director, I'm not a writer, but like I don't know that whole. Since they dropped her off at that place, I was just like. Yeah, I don't think you know. I, I kind of think just everybody like, had that same vibe. Like everybody like, kind of was like, "Oh, goddamn it!" And yeah, maybe like this should already be over. Sh- yeah. Like I guess maybe shame on me. I I don't know this guy. And this guy's obviously doing a lot better than I am when it comes to <laughs> art. Um, the discipline, <laughs> not, <laughs> not the, the not clown. The yeah. clown yeah. Um, and I think, um, but I I don't know if this does he have any other movies before I make this statement? No, I don't think. I mean, he did do uh, he did a short with art. Uh, or a movie called All Hallows Eve. Okay. Um, but I don't know if he did, like, another short film or anything to build. I can't tell if he's a good storyteller or not. Because, I can't Because either. he yeah. might be. If he was, if someone said, hey, I have a script. I can can dis- you make me make this movie? But, yeah. but, he, but this isn't a story. Yeah, no. I got a stroke of genius for you. And this is what I, I could describe him as a director to you. He is a... Special effects makeup artist that had somewhat of a vision and a little bit of a direction with art and then got to make the first movie and it made such a huge splash Okay, yeah. that he was Makes like, sense. oh, okay, well, now I'm really going to go fucking batshit crazy because I got more of a budget mm-hmm. and I can really murder people. Yeah. So I'm just going to have a good time. Like yeah. you said, it's, this is like a party movie. Yeah, which is not a bad thing at all. Yeah, no, 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 no. And, like, I fucking love that. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and like, I'd rather something like this than somebody try to remake something that's already out there. Yeah. Um, at least art's original. Yeah, it's original, and that's, like, what I've been, like, waiting for this whole fucking time. If you said watch Halloween Kills or watch Terrifier 2, I'm going Terrifier 2. Me too. And, like, based on... Halloween Kills sucks. Yeah, it, it does. Really, it, it does. really That's does. coming from someone that likes stories. <laughs> and I was going to say, sucks. based yeah, on bad. what is coming out next week with Halloween Ends, we'll just fucking see, because I might want to watch Terrifier again. I, ter- <laughs> the Halloween Ends looks good, though. It does look good. But that's also how yeah. Halloween ends looked. See, yeah. all right. In my, in my opinion, yeah. listen, that I will always, it doesn't fucking matter who directed it, who wrote it. If it's Michael, if it's Freddy, if it's Jason, if it's Leatherface, if it's Pinhead, if it's Art the Clown, if it's the Leprechaun, if it's Chucky, the guess what? I'm going to dish out my money and I'm going to walk into a theater and see it because yeah. I, I don't care how shitty it is. It's going to be at least Michael Myers. Killing people. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a good attitude to have, but do you think that attitude is stopping you from seeing better movies? No, not at all, because No, because he watches a lot of yeah, good movies, too, more than I do. I like certain directors for their ability to tell stories. Yeah. Like, I'm not, you know, like, I'm a huge John Carpenter fan. You know, I'm a huge Wes Craven fan. I'm a huge Lucio Fulci fan, or... What about like, Ty West? Do you like Ty West? Ty West is sick, dude. I love... Did you see Pearl? I didn't get to see Pearl, but I saw X, and I also... One of his first big movies is called House of the Devil. I need and to watch that still. That movie is a very slow burn You're the second movie. person to tell me to watch that. Yeah, and to me, when I first watched it when I was younger, I hated it because it moved too slow. And then as I got into filmmaking, I was like, oh, no, I fucking... Ty West is... Yeah. Genius. I just had somebody did, else tell me to watch that. Did you see yeah. Malignant? Bro. Me, me and yeah, her. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday. Do you mind if I... You can go look, for it, and I'll give... I'll that in movie you. Yeah. was so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, hold see, on, I hold on, hold my, on. my, hold my on. story. Bro. Yeah. And, and we, we made a... We did a podcast on it, and, and somebody that was <laughs> a lot smarter than us was talking to us about the movie and why he thought it was good. Yeah. And it's like, okay... If your movie is good, because and the only way it's good is if you're involved and understand that niche, it's probably not very good, okay? The reason why you like the Terrifier 2 and the first Terrifier is because this is your life. You like this. This yeah. is what your genre. Yeah. You, you've got the posters, the DVDs. Yep. You make the movies yourself. It's like that's your life. Yeah. Um, but that's that's the extent of it. When I watched, when I watched uh, Malignant, we were laughing in the movie yeah, theater. Yeah. I actually felt bad. I was <laughs> laughing really? too, but I watched it a second time. I watched it like on YouTube, literally. Like I watched it on YouTube, and I was just like, "All right, I could see why." Like it's definitely not. It <laughs> doesn't so top funny, Terrifier bro. by any means, but <laughs> it's um. It once it hit the jail scene, I was happy. Me, I all right. Being a being a specific. Uh, as to when it comes to horror and being a slasher movie fan, because 
to me, slasher a slasher film is not an intellectual mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. There's no way to intellectualize a person that is murdering people because they have there's something going on. Yes. Malignant to me was just an like an art version of that. And I dug the <laughs> fact that she had a parasitic twin and reversed her body in <laughs> half and fucking ran after people. That freaked mm. me out. I was like, yeah, I dig cool. that. I agree with you. Yeah. That uh, and slash- it was shot really good. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That totally, dip, 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 but the story itself, I don't fucking. <laughs> but the the uh, slashes are not intellectual. However, yeah, no, not at all. However, I think they can be. Oh well, yeah, and they don't do it. You well, no. Listen, you mm. when you intellectualize a slasher movie, you know what you get? A psychological horror or thriller. Yeah, you get you get, um. Jesus Christ. Silence of the Lambs. Sorry. Yeah. The alcohol oh. is hitting me. You get that. See, that, to me, it has all the elements of a slasher film, but it's a psychological thriller, 100%. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, and that, to me, is just okay, an intellectualized... I get it. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. And, and that, that to me, is what that is. Now, Malignant, in no fucking way is that intellectualized. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> and Malignant I will, is. And I'll give you that. It is... Well, I was going to say, like... It's not a great movie. Malignant yeah. looks like a movie that was filmed by the editor. Yeah. It's 100... Like it's, it's, oh, dude. It was, it was complete, like, to me, it was like eye porn. Yeah. Because it was like, all right, I'm going to color grade this in a fancy way and use James Wan angles, and, you know, that that's what you yeah. get, you know? And that's like with... with Terrifier, it's just a slasher, but they really should have taken more of the story out. Like, nobody cares. Yeah, they well, needed to Nobody the cares. Yeah. Wait, they, nobody they, cares about your dead dad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nobody yeah. cares. You could have briefed over that in two yeah. minutes. You didn't need a whole movie That's to fucking thing. talk yeah. about it. I don't think they knew what they wanted the movie to be. Right, which is fine. I mean, don't forget, like, this is his second movie. What's I the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Damien da- Lee. I think Damien. Damien. I said David before. I think David I think Damien made his first movie that I didn't see. Sorry, Damien. I think he <laughs> made I think he made the first movie and it hit. And then he was like, I've got a chance to make a story. Yeah. But he started making a story and then he inside he was like Oh no, my fans might not like that. Yeah. So then he he copped out on the story. I think no, Damien, I'm probably so wrong. <laughs> but if that's the case, try. I'll try. weigh right. I'll weigh in on that in a in just right now actually. God, yeah, just yeah. well, do so, it now. All right, so he made his first movie, and he just made it for like zero money basically, and it fucking made money. Mm-hmm. Studio comes to him and goes, dude. Your fucking movie you made for so amount of uh, so amount of money and you made like a million dollars back. Yeah, do it again. Do it again, but we're gonna give you a lot more money. So make a movie. And he was like, "Oh my god, ha huh, ha," huh. because yeah. it's as as like somebody who's an aspiring director and writer and wants to make a movie. It's our dream to get pursued by a bigger a bigger production company and go, "Hey, we're guess what? We're gonna give you one point five million dollars." And we need you to make a slasher movie. Well, I would have probably done exactly what Damien Leone did. And I would have been like, dude, I'm going to make it like the." Uh, I said it before in the theater when we walked out. I was like, you know, we didn't need Empire Strikes Back as a slasher film. Right. You could have mm-hmm. just gave me an hour and 30 minutes. I would have been stoked. But now, in retrospect, looking back at it, no, I probably would have done the same fucking thing. Gave yeah. me like a three hour movie. Yeah, <laughs> that a lot didn't of, need to happen. I was gonna say a lot of like new directors like him that are just coming about, like they feel overwhelmed, obviously, but they feel like they have to fill multiple roles now. Like it's not just the the killing. Like they want to appease the the other people who want a story, you know, which I think is fine. Then you know, maybe I'm wrong because. I think then I just think you don't like horror movies. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. No, I was trying. No, I, don't I, I, I was trying to figure out why, why we we got two half movies in one movie. <laughs> but I think I think I think I'm actually wrong about him. You should, Damien, you should try to make a story. First of all, Damien, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> but I actually think Damien knows his niche, knows who he likes. Yeah. I don't think he should leave it. I think people fight th- for their whole entire life trying to find that and find success in it, and they never do, and you already found it with your first fucking movie. Keep doing it. Um, just make it a little shorter. Yeah, just make it a little, <laughs> yeah, just make it a little shorter. But That's it. Let's uh, An hour and 30 minutes, it's a sweet spot. I yeah. think we're going to go into movie recommendation. Now, I don't know anything about horror, and usually Johnny does a movie recommendation because it's yeah. a special time, um, but I want you guys to give me both um, one, just one movie recommendation. It, it, I'm gonna let her go first, but let it be hard. It's gotta <laughs> oh, be hard. Come on. Yep, um, on I don't know. I always go back to Grindhouse films. 
Grindhouse like, films? Grindhouse films. Like, uh, anything from Grindhouse is great. My dad used to show me those. Is there a movie specific? I'm trying to figure out what picture is I there? can get to put in the frame. Um, that pops out Well, all right. So, so grind, when you say Grindhouse, that's a, br- a broad spectrum. I know term. it is. Um, but if, if you're going Grindhouse and you're thinking, like, slasher. Yeah. Fuck, that I'm trying to think. It was so long ago since that I even actually takes sat down and watched them. Um, yeah. I mean, do you consider that's that's I don't know. Uh just just sum it up easier for you. If you had to pick an eighties slasher film. Mm. <laughs> like just go with an eighties just pick know. an eighties one. I don't know. Wanna give your second time to look one up while Kevin gives us yeah. his? Go ahead, okay. Kevin. Because uh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so a uh, recommendation. Uh and we gotta stay within the slasher realm. You, horror. 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 Ooh. Doesn't have to be a slasher. I will say this. Uh, because it's one of my favorites and not a lot of people talk about it a lot and I love it and it's probably my favorite slasher film of all time is uh, a movie called Slaughter High. Is that like a high school movie? It kind of is, okay. but it's fucking hilarious. It's it's literally like, you know, you take your brain out of your head. It's it's hilarious, but there's some brutal scenes in it and it took place in the 80s. Eight- it was... It was made in the earlier 80s, and there was just a grit and a grime to it, and it just, it looked great, and the story is fucking crazy, and it, it, it it's a good, it's good, it's a good story. It's a good all revenge right, story. Hell yeah. Slaughter High. Amanda, do you have well, it for us? Yeah, I'm gonna, all right, forget the Grindhouse stuff, because if you don't know what I'm talking about, then it's not gonna make sense. Yeah, so, it's gonna take a minute. Um, I would just say, honestly, watch the Freddy Krueger the Dream Master. Ooh, that's a Watch fantastic Watch the Dream Master yep. because I th- what is that four or three? Uh, yeah, because yeah, you got Dream Warriors, Dream or no, was it Dream Master, Dream? War- yeah, it's Dream Warriors was part three, Dream Masters, yeah. and then Dream Child. Yeah, yeah so, so yeah, I mean, any four. of those three are great, but watch Dream Master because like those special effects are fucking gnarly. Yeah, um, or, it's definitely one of those movies where I'm just like, wow, that's like practical effects. There's no CGI whatsoever. Uh, all right. Hell yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But guys, let's You're let's just d- like, I don't want to yeah. watch anything let's, like this let's ever do again. A, let's do a word reveal and wrap up. My words were practical CGI, blood slasher girl. Amanda, I want Kevin to go last. I yeah. want to see what his fucking I'm so words. mad because you did say comedy in the beginning, but it was comedy, murderer, uh, or murdering, sorry, carnival, costume, and character. All right, Kevin. Intestant, murder, vagina, and glass. <laughs> Is that only four? Well, you you called the first one. The first one was bone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I was like, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> and now, guys, an in memoriam for poor Johnny Cruz, who is no longer with us. All right, well, why don't you go kill a family of four? Well, didn't some guy have sex with a monkey? Oh, I'm practicing uh, abs- abstinence before, you know, I have sex next again. <laughs> I fucking hate you. I'm not, look, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just telling you that you're wrong. I would never make such a... uh, I would never express such heinous vulgarities on this show. If I knew I was going to get a little sloppy toppy. (laughs) I love... I just love sucking cock. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. (laughs) We'll see you on the next one. Peace. See ya. Bye.